everyone and welcome back to my channel. So have you ever heard of the Tokyo Metro Underground Mystery? If yes, well, good for you, but keep on watching. If not, keep on watching and you're about to find out. But before you find out, don't forget to subscribe for more Japan Adventures in Japan lifestyle videos. So let's get started. So first of all, Tokyo Metro Underground Mysteries can only be played within Tokyo because you're gonna have to use the Tokyo Metro Train Network, hence the name Tokyo Metro Underground Mysteries. Second of all, the title might be a little bit misleading because it says uh, Underground Mysteries, but you're not gonna be only playing it underground. Actually, in this version, the 2022 version, is actually played mostly on the ground. And one reason I can kind of think why they used underground mysteries is because you're gonna have to use the Tokyo Metro all the time when you want to move to one place to another and that is just underground. So this is gonna be the kit that you're gonna be receiving or you're gonna be you're gonna have to purchase to play this game and in order to purchase this you're gonna have to go to their website and find out what station um, actually sells these kits because not all stations do sell this kit and remember every single thing in this kit is very 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 helpful in future how you're going to use it up to you but anyway this video is gonna be a walkthrough of how I solve all of the questions or mysteries within this kit and within this entire game and because it's a walkthrough of how I solved everything it's kind of a spoiler alert of how everything is gonna be solved so if you don't want to watch how I solved it maybe you should finish it first or if you're stuck maybe you can watch some of the clips and then you can go on to solving by yourself and without further ado let's get started so let's see what we have in our kit. First is the 24 hour window refund ticket, our one day Tokyo Metro Pass, and here we have two of our kits. Let's check out the first one. We have our guidebook on how to play the game. And here are the initial questionnaires A, B, C, D, and E. And here we have the locked questionnaires unless we finish the first initial questionnaires. And here is the answer sheet for the initial one and another answer sheet for the second one and the last question. And one of the most important is our metro map that we're gonna be using all throughout the game. And that's the last of it! Now we can go and solve some mysteries. And one more thing about this game, it's only in Japanese this year but let's hope that there will be English next year. To get started, we need to answer all the questionnaires from A through F. And so, let's go find some place to sit down and answer these questionnaires. And we have decided to choose Ikebukuro Station first. We actually didn't choose any of the recommended spots, but we have chosen a cafe to sit down and think about it. So for the question letter A, it says to connect the dots in order of the word written above that reads Himitsu o subete abaki daze. And read the hiraganas that are between the lines. And looking at the kit, we can see a lot of hiraganas at the back of the map. So let's connect the dots. And it reads. Ha un zo u mo un. And our first station is Hanzo Mo. And this next question is a little bit tricky. 
You're gonna need your one day pass and this metro map. And here's how to use it. You can see this arrow and kind of connect it to the very first one that it's saying. So from Asakusa, you go to Tokyo. And you go to the next one. So in Hibeya's Higashi Ginza, you go to Korakuen. And the last one is the Imperial Garden located around here and it goes to Ikebukuro. And that marks our second station, Ikebukuro. And here's the next one. It is using the back of the map. You need to fold the symbols together to create creases and you need to be careful because you need to do it in the order that this questionnaire is giving you in order to make the piece that you need to solve this puzzle with. And ta-da! Here is a crooked arrow, but you get the point. It's an arrow that points the back of the map, which says it is in Omotesando. And the next station is Omotesando. The next one is getting a bit more creative on this stop sign. You're gonna now use your pen as a marker. And now, if you put it like this, it looks exactly how the stop sign is. And now it points to Roppongi Ichome. And so, our next station is going to be Roppongi Ichome. The next one is, you're just gonna have to tilt the card this way to reveal T09 and T09 happens to be Otemachi and so your next station is Otemachi and the last question for the initial questionnaires lies on the back of all the questionnaires and so you need to put them all as so and follow the markers to find the arrow over here points to. And here we see what the number four and number five and E and U intersect with, which is Miyogadani Station. So our next station is going to be Miyogadani Station. As we all finish the question, it's time to go deeper and go to the stations one by one. There is no order that you need to follow so you can plan it out as needed. And we started from Ikebukuro. As we started from Ikebukuro, we needed to find where the Esola Mall is and take their floor guide. In this one, you're going to need the blue tracing paper for the question and align it as so to find Roku a du ma do me de, which means six shadable windows. And remember that guidebook? Yes, we are gonna need that. And that spells to zai sen. So in this question, you should write Tozai Sen. And now let's open F for Myogadani Station. And here you need to find out which ones are the truth and the lies and check as you go. To find where we need to go, just follow the guide and go to where it says to go. And the questions are for the fish, the ammonite, the snail, 
and the horse. And one more thing, the info box is very helpful. And from here on out, it's just gonna be a trial and error to make up a word that is consist of nine characters. And by process of elimination and we read the ones that we didn't go through it says usagi no aru tokoro on to the next question we need to find out a specific statue that looks a little bit like this and by shading the true sentences based on what we see from the artwork we see a music symbol with an arrow showing us the next clue that reads the shop and let's go to the next question which is gonna be in Hanzomo station and again let's follow where we need to go from the instruction on the paper here we are at the park right next to the Imperial Palace and we need to follow the statue and connect the dots in order that they appear. And here we see it says that we need to find something in the information on the Maihime part. And looking at the Maihime information, it has the triangle that resembles the line connected from the questionnaire that reads Kudoba. And on to the next station, C is for Omote Sando. Let's go find out where it is. In this question, we need to answer the questions on the left and put it on the right side of the paper. The answers are 0 for A, 2 for B, and 4 for C. And we draw a line that says how many needs to go through on each boxes depending on the number until we reach G. And the answer is the characters that was passed through. That reads as Hinode. And let's go back to the answer sheet and let's write down all the answers that we've got to the secondary questionnaires. And once again, we have another letter that we don't have the question of, but it's in the back of all the questionnaires that we have. And this says J is Ebifurai. And there is one station we didn't go to, but we are just going to read in between the lines. But first, let us try to input the ones that we actually do have. And reading between the lines, I have come up with Fukutoshi no iro hibiya no maku tsukure. And that basically means it's a color of Kutoshin line with a mark of Hibia, which is the 8th. And here I'm trying to fold the map in a way that I can make the H and surrounding the color of brown, which is the Fukutoshin color. And it looks a little bit like this. And here is a mark that is very familiar that you can see in the very first time that we looked at this guide map, which is the Ginza Station mark. And on to the very final question, the last question. We need to fill this out. Completing the Roman numeral 1, 2, and 3. Roman numeral number 1 is Ginza. Roman numeral number 2 is Usagi no Arutokoro. And Roman numeral number 3 is Tozai Sen. And as the last instruction says, we need to go to Ginza Station and follow the instructions. And as we follow along the instruction written on the last question, we go ahead and see this beautiful artwork within the Ginza station. And in this question, it says to make the black and white stars, but first we need to make the white one. In order to make that, we need to fold again, utilize this um, map to make the white star 
and then the next is the black star and looking at the panels it has some squares on it which is similar to the ones we have on the map and now we find the rabbits and follow along the Tozai Sen where the rabbits are and what we see is Kada Fudu and there you have it everyone the last answer to the question is colorful Thank you so much everyone for following through this has been one of the most difficult and very exciting videos that i have made so far so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on my next adventure bye